Hot fan. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex, this is Peter, and that's Josh. Hi, guys. And today we have the hot fan. Hot fan. <laughs> <laughs> what it's, is it? It's a Grotner glider, and it's literally called the hot fan. Hot fan. <laughs> not, not the hot fan? Hot fan. It's German. You know, yeah. we should have Eric here saying it. He'd say it properly. Yeah, or Probably. Baloo. Hi, Baloo. Hi, Baloo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, a, uh, this is a motor glider, but we don't see the motor yet, do yeah. we? Yeah. Not yet. Now you do. Whoop! Ta-da! That's pretty cool. I, that's like the favorite part about this thing. <laughs> My only thing about that is it's an ugly impeller. It'd be cool if it was like a 12-bladed fan or something, but it's got this dorky looking 3 bladed no fan. For you. But okay. it does work. It does work, and you've been the only one that's flown this, right? Uh, yeah, I took it for a quick, a quick circuit around the shop or two, and then just went right back in the snow. And uh, this is a plug and plug and play, mm -hmm. plug and fly, yep. whatever they call it. Yeah, it means, means you need a battery and a receiver. Mm -hmm. And it's good to go. Uh, and we got it from Open Hobby. Uh, I believe it was one eighty three ninety nine. Cool. And we haven't gotten to play with many motor gliders, and uh, we're finally getting a touch of warm weather, so yeah. let's go have It's like fun. 37 degrees, could, and we're in like in t-shirts. I could use a hot fan right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you lots of good weather. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> you don't even feel a pull. There's like zero static thrust on this thing. Were you full throttle? Uh, half throttle. That's pretty cool. It, it looks awesome. It actually climbs pretty well. That's awesome. I, I'm already a fan and I haven't even flown it yet. I see what you did there. You're a fan. <laughs> I'm a hot fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty sleek uh, line. Are you playing with the rudders right now? Or are you, uh, yeah, there's or are you feeling it out a little. It feels a little tail heavy. Yeah. Feels pretty good now. I just need to trim it out some. It's got a really cool presence in the air. It does. It looks very short coupled to me. Frankly though, it looks like it's squirrely. Are you having problems or? Uh, you just... It just, it's fish tank a little bit. I'm just trimming it out. I'll get used to that. I'm just not super used to flying details. Yeah, one thing we noticed is uh, the way that the wings uh, separate when you when you transport it. Yeah. Um, there's one servo controlling both ailerons. So when you when you hook the wings back up, you yeah. actually have to hook the both the ailerons up to the servo. So that basically means anytime you travel with it, you have to retrim it on the first yeah. flight. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, the the wing design, the way it, it disconnects and reconnects together, it's actually pretty cool. Peter was a big fan of it. It's clean. <laughs> he was a hot fan of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably this, this is cool. Yeah, this is actually really cool. I noticed that and I was like, I was taking with this for like quite a few minutes because look, you actually twist it in and it was actually a well thought out mechanism because this goes into here and you twist it to lock it. Wow. And then you, you have another external lock down here that, that clicks over. That's like a very complicated thing with very few parts, but mm -hmm. look at the fit. The fit is perfect. That's cool. I want to say it's German engineering, but it looks like I've seen this somewhere before. It's in a different model, but okay. it might be from another another German sub manufacturer. Gotcha. It's kind of weird to see a push rod passing through rather than the uh, servo extension. Yep. They really thought this, this one out. I am really impressed with that. That's really, really, really cool. That is cool. Now, do you have to snake that push rod through and try to make it? Uh, yeah. I think this is fun, purely fun from a mechanical standpoint of how it was designed. But as far as um a little push rod through it can be a little cumbersome this is where the uh, push rods come for the uh, ailerons you can see they're tied into one servo i guess it's to save a few bucks and make the wings a little slimmer and lighter and the surprising there's not a lot of resistance in here too no it moves very yeah. free that's my thing when, when they run control rods like this or control rods is any binding it puts a lot of extra stress in your servos and it's I not bet really you there's good a bell crank in there. what do you think let's take a look through the, the wing channel here because I don't see it like snake like a curve, it just out here, there's probably a bulk crack there. Yeah. It's tied into there. And it's actually molded in. Yeah. It's really impressive. That's insane. It's got chrome rims. <laughs> yeah, chrome rim wheel. And then you got, this is kind of cool. Instead of being a skid back here, you got a, this is a little wheel too. So it actually rolls pretty cool. That's All how right. I roll. I see what you do. That's did how there. you roll. So what I, I'm guessing right now is you got to kind of have a buddy to help get the uh, push rods through and then turn on your radio before you, uh, you fasten down that linkage stopper. That's just about it. I, re it. I already pre done some preset up at the shop, so. That's the coolest <laughs> I just never part gets old. That is so hilarious, it's <laughs> awesome. How Small does that have? Hmm? Not a whole lot, not you, a lot you're, you're not gonna have a stack out of the fans. <laughs> I wonder if it even, would it, do you think it taxi? It probably would, but very, very, very slowly. So you have, uh, yeah. do you have the motor on a separate channel then? Yep. They say they recommend you do this in the manual, mainly because uh, if you want to just pull the fan out, maybe a little extra drag, you can land a little easier without okay. having the motor on. Oh, that's so cool. it works pretty well. And plus, if you slate it there, it would just slowly move out with the throttle. Yeah. Because when you think about it, you need either one or the other. Yeah. Not halfway in between. 
It's very smooth. You don't even hear the servo struggle. Hello. <laughs> what, what servo is that? It's just another, it looks like it to be about nine gram, the footprint of the oh servo. It's so quiet. Yeah, no. wanna see if it taxis? Yeah, I wanna see if it taxis. <laughs> That'd be hysterical. <laughs> That's how you make it hover. I think it's actually, but the problem is, you know, the drag to the wing tips. Yeah. You need a little guy out there to hold your wings as you walk down the runway. I'll play someone to throw it. Where's Mike? Oh! <laughs> yeah. All right, who wants the next? Go ahead, Josh. Huh? All right, Go you ahead. know what switch the fans on? No. I have it on this one right here. You guys see that? Back right yeah, one, yeah, yeah, I got right it. There. Cool. Now you're probably- uh, Yeah, fans no, out, so yeah. Knowing you. Oh, dang, I pulled back in. <laughs> Pull the fan out. <laughs> you're doing good now. <laughs> you know what, I'm flying this mm -hmm. and it's, this doesn't feel like a big getting glider to me. Mm -hmm. The V-tail's a little, it feels a little weird. It feels anemic on rudder to me can, though. Can I do something real quick? Sure. Can I put it in for landing and change the CG? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, so I think I just put it down, right? Let's see how it glides just as it is. Now, I remember our favorite suite was always telling us the CG when it's when it's a glider, you know, you usually want a little bit more aft on the higher performance gliders, but it actually seems like it's floating real nice. Look at yeah, that. that's yeah, pretty awesome. It feels pretty good. Almost looks like it has a lift right there, doesn't it? Look yeah. at that. If I, it might feel a little different when you put the fan out, because you know, the fan's on top, so your thrust line is raised. So. That's true. If I, it might feel a little different because it's, of that. Definitely want to fly coordinated as of right now. Maybe when we change the CG, I'd like to shove that CG just a little bit more forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yeah, it looks look, like it's, it's flying a little tail heavy. It's really floating. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, do what you recommended in the manual. I'm gonna pull that fan out and cause some crack. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Even with that in there, it's not bad. Here, all right, we'll do one more go around. I don't want to walk up. It feels like you, as you slow down the rudder, it feels it seems to wander more than the it rudder. Definitely axis. is wandering, yeah. yeah. Well, and you know, not every gliders, people think gliders mean trainers. It, it doesn't have to necessarily be a trainer. I didn't even look to see what skill setting this is, but it's not hard to fly. It's just uh, different. <laughs> There we are. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and put the battery a little bit uh, further forward. Uh, the, the battery is what adjusts the CG, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think I have it all the way at four right now, so maybe maybe heavier battery would be even better, because right now there's 20. an 1800 in there. Let's do a 22. 22. Now, here's the deceiving thing. Say they spec out like an 1800 battery. Um, you could have a battery that's 1800 milliamps, but much lighter or much heavier. I'll go grab a battery. Just because you put a battery that they specify in there doesn't mean your CG is going to be perfect. So I may be wrong here, but I think it needs a little bit more nose weight. I'd say just an ounce or two. While he's getting this ready, everyone likes the specs. Why don't we show you the specs? Why is this not the airplane? All right, so uh, <laughs> while Peter's uh, putting a heavier battery in for more nose weight, uh, I went ahead and also dialed an Expo. Uh, I'm running 30% Expo on the aileron in the elevator now, and I put the rudder up because the rudder is pretty touchy all the way up to 40. And we'll see if that changes the experience. Uh, Peter is crazy. He never runs Expo on anything, and he runs full deflection. So uh, <laughs> learn to fly. <laughs> we're going to dial this in. Uh, but the reason why we showed you specs is when you dial this in, you want to dial it into the proper specs. 30% Expo always seems like a very safe. Yeah, that's uh, typically what I do. Point. Unless you're trying to fly like sharks. Unless you're trying to fly like sharks. And then you do 65. All right, let's do this. All right, ready? Oh, wait, I got a fans out. <laughs> Pop out the hot fan. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Did you put a force on? <laughs> Maybe. I don't want to. I don't right. fly a wide open. I All right, 30% 30, 30 expo. It was like turbo jet. 30% expo um, is definitely the way to go and that more knows weight. This is a whole different ship now. Is it? Oh, yeah. A <laughs> lot less of a handful? Oh, it just, it's like flying a little jet now. One thing I noticed is the wing is actually, it's really long, but it's it, it's surprisingly really rigid. Yeah. They got a lot of carbon in there. Let's see how it stalls now with this nose weight. Pull up and... Oh, that's, oh, there's there, a there you stall. go. <laughs> All right, so it's here's- deceiving. Yeah, very deceiving. I didn't think it was gonna break and it did. Let's talk about tip stalls for a second. The last thing you wanna do when you get into a tip stall, uh, and some planes will have it. Uh, if you have a beginner plane, you don't wanna play that tip stall easy, is you wanna get airspeed. Neutralize your controls just like a full scale. I'm gonna do it again here real quick. If you fight it the whole way down, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a spiral. You wanna get your uh, your airspeed up and then pull out. Get airflow over the wings and the control surfaces, then you're in good shape. Put in this bit. Take it higher. I wanna see right. this, how tight it can spin. I don't think it'll spin very tight. Yet. I feel like this bit is like, starting. It, it was a hard break, that's for sure. You ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, and... Yeah, this is just, just, just the wing over. Just, yeah, I'll see if I that's can. That's not bad. I'll see if I can make it break. 
nope, just spirals. Mm -hmm. So that's good. You get a break, but then you immediately get some control back. Yeah, that's which not is bad not bad. At all. Let's try inverted real quick, and I'm gonna give it to you, Alex. Yeah, so flying, uh, flying a uh, 2200, which is kind of nice because it's a very common battery. Oh, inverted is not bad. Mm -hmm. Just a push, push of a uh, forward on it. That's really impressive. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that. No bad tendencies inverted. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Hot fun. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head now. All right. <laughs> all right, so I, I like the balance on the throw, Alex. You want it? Yeah, sure. Here. It's right there. I see it. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think this would be a this wouldn't be a beginner plane? No, nah, I wouldn't say beginner. intermediate. Intermediate, maybe your second plane. Second with some with good amount of training, you'll be fine. You can feel all those controls very true, can't you? Yeah, yeah. It actually is pretty surprising how much how, how touchy it actually is. You think it'd be real docile, but you can move it around pretty good, especially the uh, elevator. Yeah. Now the funny thing about flying a V-tail is uh, you don't get the typical <laughs> feeling of a, of a rudder with yaw. You get a twist in there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, inverted V actually gives you a coordinated turn, but normal standard, uh, they call a V-tail butterfly tail, you end up getting the feeling of almost like this adverse bank, right? Yep. And actually the inverted V-tails, I've seen them referenced as A-tail too. Because if you look at it, it looks like an A in the oh, A-tail, V-tail, I guess it sort of makes sense. Come at me, that's bro. Cool. Try it with the fan. Try it with the fan tucked. See if it gets picks up any more speed. <laughs> you, you try to pour on the coals. It doesn't go anywhere <laughs> no. too quick. It's pretty slow. It does climb on a pretty decent clip. It's not. Vertical. It does, yeah. But it's not. It's not anything like a warm liner by any means. No. It's just a. Fan yeah. in. Pull the fan in. How do you? How do you do it? No options down. <laughs> Let me know if you want your fan out. You have to switch here. He's coming at us. Look out. <laughs> That's cool. It's a very smooth design. <laughs> you don't like when you pull that fan out too. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I saw you were like full power and the fan was like barely almost out of there again. I was just trying to help it out of there. <laughs> I'm trying to loop. You gotta use more energy from the airplane than the motor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. It flies like a real glider. A big one. Yeah. Yeah, it has a scale feel when, when you're flying it. If you're flying a full scale and you stalled it, you'd probably drop a tip. You know, um, it has a lot of characteristics of a full scale. That's why I was wondering if it was built off of a full scale glider. But it does soar nice. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you hit the throttle before the motor was all the way out? Or? No, the motor was out. I was just. I'm dumb. not a big fan of your flying. I was just dumb thumbing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think my problem is I'm trying to fly it like a airplane rather than a glider. I'm using the motor too much. But all in all, I like it. I mean, it really soars nice. It just keeps going. Bring it in for landing? Yeah. I'm gonna overshoot that one. It's funny, with this being a German model, you think it has spoilers on it or flaps or something. Nope, this is a hot fan. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but it's blowing pretty good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not too bad. All right, I'll go get it. All right, so it's in one piece. That's a good mm -hmm. sign. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts? Hopefully. I liked it. Um, it, was, it didn't fly like I was expecting, but that's yeah. not to say it was bad. Uh, it was just a little bit different. It flies a little bit different than I was expecting. I was, I was, I guess I was thinking maybe like a, a Radian. Yeah. It would feel real docile. Um, but yeah, it's, I'd say it's definitely an intermediate plane. It has some coupling issues with the VTOL. You, you can, if you fly it, you kind of really feel it. It's like, you know, kind of hard to explain, but you, you kind of know when you fly a plane that's a little different. That doesn't, doesn't have the normal vertical stabilizer and all that. So I, I do like it. I'd say get an intermediate plane. Yeah. It flies a lot, a lot like a scale glider. Uh, yeah. Like a high performance scale glider. The performance when it was soaring was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Um, as far as uh, the balance goes, to me, flying it with uh, the way you had it set up, and, Peter can fly a uh, shoebox. You know, and, <laughs> yeah, and I did. Peter's, skill, had a attached to it. Peter's best skill is just really good at flying things that don't fly very good. Yeah, <laughs> but when we made the CG right and dialed the expo in, uh, it yeah. really it was a whole different ship. And uh, I really liked it, but I wouldn't recommend this as a first glider. Also, with mixing, uh, since this is more of an advanced ship, you could actually dial aileron and rudder in together and get a real nice coordinated turn and a real good plug performance. This has literally been plugged in, flown, bound, just like you probably would with it as a, as a, you know, setting it up out of the box. Mm -hmm. And uh, all in all, it's pretty good. 
cool. Well, we want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting Flight Test. We really wouldn't be here without you guys, so thanks. You guys let us know that you wanted to see gliders, so keep the suggestions coming because we listen. All right, see you next time. See you guys.